Now at 6, we continue tracking Tropical Storm Jose's effects on southern New England. And let's give you a live look here from our camera at the top of the bay in Warwick. It's breezy, but the water in Narragansett Bay is relatively calm, as you can see right there, compared to the ocean. Now, one place that gets a lot of big waves from passing storms is the Outer Cape, since it faces the open Atlantic. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen went to Chatham on Cape Cod and has this report on conditions there today. Steve? There's no strong waves here in Chatham because of sandbars past the fog line out there. But there's concerns that the strong waves out past the sandbar is causing erosion. Emerging through the fog, Gil Wilson walks this Chatham beach nearly every day. It's going through tremendous uh, changes right now. Right offshore, Jose's winds are whipping flags, signs, and even birds. Driving around the streets away from the coastline, you can tell rain and wind is not really an issue. But back on the water, it was easier to see Jose's biggest threat to Chatham. It's current. A strong current, maybe an eight knot current. Preparing for the worst, our cameras captured the fishing pier empty, no boats moored. Instead, the commercial vessels tied up together deeper up the bay for protection. And at least a few tried to pull smaller boats from the water at the last minute. A lot of erosion in the area. A lot of erosion, yeah, yeah. Wilson says the sandbar that protects this area is getting hit hard. And that island now is under stress to break into more islands. Especially since Jose will keep throwing waves at the sandbar over the next several days. It's just going to be annoying for a week and a half, really. You know, if you like weather, Chatham's a good place to live. <laughs> With Jose sticking around south of Cape Cod, we won't know the extent of any erosion for a few more days. In Chatham, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News. Not only impacting our coastline, but also Cape Cod and the islands. Crews keeping a close eye on beaches there, as the main threat seems to be beach erosion. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen has been in Chatham all day long, and he joins us now with more on the conditions there. The shoreline here in Chatham is protected by sandbars out past the fog line here, which is why you're not seeing big waves right now. But this strong current and wind has brought out plenty of people wanting to watch the show. It was hard for even the lighthouse to break the fog, but spectators still came by the dozens. It's, you know, Mother Nature doing her thing here. The Chatham shoreline became a hot spot as Jose rocked the coastline from afar. They come here for lunch, they come here for a coffee break just to see the beautiful view. And that and doesn't change on a storm day like this. No, it increases it. They want to see what's going on. It's the best show in town. The way the coastline sets up here in Chatham prevents a lot of the big waves from coming here to shore. There's a sandbar out there that you can't see in the fog, but you can still tell the current and the wind is pulling this water to the beach. Even as the wind makes for a nasty day, life must go on. But you still had to take them on a walk, right? Absolutely. I mean, they're not going to stay inside for the next six months, right? <laughs> that makes for two cold chihuahuas. Jerry's wearing a coat. Daisy's braving it with just her fur to warm her. He's not happy about this, so we're going to go back in pretty soon. Yeah, go get him warmed up. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, this isn't too bad, though. Could be a lot not worse. So far, no, and I hope it doesn't get any, you know, no damage or anything. Despite the wind picking up throughout the day in Chatham, we haven't seen any damage or had any reports of power outages. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.